Hi ho there people out there in the wonderful world of YouTube. I'm going to be doing um, a tag video and it's going to be the title of it. It's going to be, let me get it right here. It's called My Makeup Story Tag and I hope everybody enjoys it. And I'm going to be looking over here to get the questions and then I'll answer them for every one of you out there. Question number one, how old were you when you started wearing makeup? I was 14 when I started wearing makeup. And my mom didn't know I was wearing it. I guess I was wearing it good then. Number two, how did you get into makeup? I got into makeup because some people um, out there, some kids in school were wearing it. And then I was getting teen magazines that my grandmother subscribed so, um, got a subscription for me and I like all the teens in there that were wearing it and I'm like well if they can wear it I can wear it and if they're hardly no, hardly wearing any I could do the same thing so I went to the nearest store which was drugstore it was called Faze Drugstore at the time in the local mall in Texas where I lived and I bought s some eyeshadow and I bought something else and then I started wearing it and you know, and that's how I started. And number three, what are some of your favorite brands? Okay, the favorite brands I like are CoverGirl, Maybelline, Burt's Bee. I just started getting into Wet n Wild. I used to get had was I was into that when I was a younger, like in my teens. But then I stopped, and now I'm back into it again because they're having some great colors, you know. And I next. Um, I just started, I just started, I ordered stuff a couple months ago from NYX, their lipsticks, and I love it. And Urban Decay, I've never had Urban Decay until I saw the sale they had, got some, and I'm wearing some eyeshadow today with Urban Decay, and I just love it. Number four, what does makeup mean to you? Makeup, makeup means, to me, it means, um, beauty. It means that when you put it on, you, you're looking, you're, you're hiding your flaws. And you feel happier. At least to me, I feel happier, you know. And it just makes you have something fun to do, you know. And you don't really have to go anywhere to wear makeup. You can just put a little bit on, and and you're all set, you know. Five. Would, if you could only wear four products in your face, what would they be? Definitely mascara. I hate going without mascara. My eyelashes are long. They're they don't really need mascara, but when I put it on, I just feel more better with it on. Eyeshadow, any type of eyeshadow, I like to have that on. I have to say, um, either my soft lips when I wear that at night, or lip gloss. And my last product probably would be my face powder. Yeah, my face powder. And six, what is your favorite thing about makeup? Trying out different colors, no matter what your skin is. Trying out different products, putting it on different ways, and seeing how people like it on you. I've tried out different ways, and people's like, oh, you look real great with that on, or I like how you did that, or add a little bit darker, or lighter, or whatever. And and I take their advice, and I take the advice, and I and I, and I I say, oh, okay, maybe I'll try this next time, and I do. You know, and I like that I do get advice from people. Never had any negative advice, just had, you know, like, you should lighten this or darken this or that looks good on you, that brand looks better on you, stuff like that. Seven, what do you think about drugstore makeup versus high-end makeup? Drugstore makeup is just as good as high-end makeup, and drugstore makeup is cheaper, you know, and I like either one. You know, if I can afford a high-end, I buy it. Drugstore products, you still do the same as high-end. Some of the products are good, some of the drugstore products are not that great, and the high-end works a little bit better. Sometimes it stays on your face better, but to me it really doesn't matter. It's what you feel comfortable in wearing. I mean, if you're out there wanting to rock Maybelline products or rock Revlon products, go ahead. You want to rock an SC nail polish compared to another nail polish out there that's high end? Go right ahead, because it's what you feel happy in wearing. Eight. What is one tip advice you can give to, to a beginner? To a beginner, I can get, say practice, practice, practice makes perfect. Do the best you can. And if you need advice or you need help, you can always look on YouTube. Somebody out there giving advice. You can ask for help. You know, somebody will give you advice. You know, just practice. 
All I got to say. What, number nine, what is one makeup trend you never understood? I never understood why people put, I still today, for the age that I am, understand why people have got to put, you know, lip pencils on their lips. I don't do it. I'll never do it. I don't know why they do it, but I guess it fills your lips out and makes your lips look better. I'm not sure. Um, Ten, what do you think about the beauty community on YouTube? I think the beauty community on YouTube is great because everybody sticks together. We help each other out. We can give them advice on better, you know, better ways to wear makeup, you know, better ways of doing their videos, and you make friends off there. Some people got to meet some of their friends on there. I hope someday to meet. There's a few out there, you know, that I wish I could meet. Maybe someday I will. Maybe someday I won't. Maybe just a phone call to them. If I ever had their phone number, and boom, we'd become instant friends. We're, in, we're friends on here. With a lot of them, a lot of them, everybody's very polite. I mean, I started out thinking, I'm not going to make it out there. Nobody's going to like my videos. And people started liking my videos, you know, and I'm like, wow. At my age, you know, I'm glad that people like it, you know. So, I just, uh, I did this tag. I will be doing other tags later on. If you know a tag you like me to do. Shout it out to me. Let me know. Put my name down in the down bar saying that you want me to do one because I'll do one, you know, that you've done. And I'll be doing other videos during the week, you know, to put on here. And thanks to everybody that, you know, subscribed to me. And I appreciate it. I appreciate any advice you gave. I mean, I, I, I subscribe back to you. To everybody that subscribed to me, I subscribe back. And I love a lot of your channels. Your channels are so awesome. And I learn from your channels and say, oh, that's how I can make my channel better. So I'll have a good week and I'll be talking to you again. Thank you.